you don't have immunization records like you can't find the one from your childhood my dear please just go to the us don't kill yourself because i noticed i used one week running around for immunization i oh thought i needed which was in necessary oh my, my sister till i reach the us of the obodo yibo hotels oh. oklahoma hello bye hello brush oh my god i'm telling you <laughs> see <laughs> i was just thanking god that, ah, thank god for this face mask thing oh my this god face mask thing is yeah, nice. yeah, <laughs> and about topping you know nigerians always top in the class when they get there the reason why that happens is um, two reasons one we are very tough and striving people we strive wherever we are secondly the mori he costs a lot of mori to bring him those plays think about it so you know think about it <laughs> when you're in class you will be able to you know there's a calculator in your head mm-hmm. always changing the amount in naira so you know how much he costs Okay. So first off, let's keep all the clichés. I was excited. Yeah. Yeah. But I got home and it dawned on me that the only thing I've been chasing is getting my visa approved. <laughs> so after that, I didn't know what to do. You remember I texted you I was so confused what to buy, what to put together. Well, I didn't understand all these things. So um I started buying stuff as little as I could went through your videos guys I just want to say this I'm not trying to flatter you I really appreciate your work and your commitment because I have gone through a lot of YouTubers and the reason why I stuck with you the one you're funny but <laughs> secondly secondly and most importantly you are so detailed Jesus you are detailed like really detailed and it helps it really helps cuz this is what differentiates you from other youtubers i had watched youtubers before you i'm not saying their content is not good yeah. but you really get in there and i like that even though the videos are long it makes me stay wow. yeah so <laughs> thank you that really helps yeah. yeah so with the details i started getting what i could get i don't cook so we we kept that part on the low we just took our favorite things so pepper soup and uh what else did i bring yeah pepper soup <laughs> so i i just brought that and um i i got a lot of stuff mind you the first interview was november 6 what no the, the first canceled interview was october 21 first um actual expedited interview was november 6 the second one was november 30th yeah so um meaning that when i got my visa back on the 3rd of december i literally had between mm-hmm. i had one month wow. third of december to my travel yeah. one month so i didn't have the typical in fact nothing about my process has been normal i had just one month to get into the us So I started packing things, packing, you know, packing. I got all the essentials that were needed. Got online. I booked did my flight. flight. Yeah. How much did your flight cost? Did you take a one way or a two way round trip flight? One way. I wanted to take two way, but you see my family people It's like it's like they don't want me to come back at all. <laughs> Any time I say anything about coming back, they're like they talk like they are going to stand with pitchforks at the airport if I try it. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. So it was a one way and it cost about 400 and something. I can't remember. 400 and something there about. 1000, yeah. Yeah. So I went to the you know this thing is big money. So I cannot be doing online. Mm-hmm. I went to their um, to office gang gang I went there to make the payments so 
I made the payment. Then the lady was like, she wants to collect my details for my card. I said, this lady, please, I'm a Niger boy. They don't do that. <laughs> but guys, it's okay. What she must not collect is the CBC. Yeah. Don't let her get that. If you can tape that before you go there, that's fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I flew Qatar. Qatar. So anyone that has gone through Qatar knows my flight was a long flight. Yeah, very. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Valin, you were talking about your experiences when you flew. Mine was a lot different, and you're going to laugh in a bit. Really? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, then again, I'm sorry. I, I'm that kind of person. I, I don't just make haphazard decisions. So, this is what I do. I pray, and I must hear from God. Then I tell you what I hear. If I'm sure I heard from God, you are talking rubbish. I would do what God says. So, um, everyone was like, it didn't make any sense. My birthday was on the 10th of January. Aww. They now said, why will I want to live on the 3rd when my birthday is on the 10th? That's just wait. My school's resolution is on the 19th. What's the big deal? But I said, God says so. And I told my mom. And she knows, like, we've had this kind of... She knows that I won't change it. So it was going to be that day. a Sunday. It didn't even make any sense. So down to the airport, uh, you get in. I think what really helped me was I was a student because normally when you get to the airport, guys hold cash. Oh, very hold cash. Yeah, hold cash because if you are not favored by God, you are going to have to pay every single one you meet. Yeah. But I don't know why. They just looked at me. Once I say I'm a student, rather than ask me for money, they want to help me. Wow. It was just weird. So please, yeah. always tell them you're a student. So yeah, like, tell I them you're a student. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that's what gives you the favor, but <laughs> then, okay. But just try. <laughs> just try. Okay, so I got there with my bags. They have to screen your bags as you are entering. You know, these protocols, your face mask. So um, I got in and there's a section where they are supposed to search your things. Now, I want to chip this in and I think it really helps. If you know you don't cook and you know you have how you get food sorted out, please don't carry food stuff that needs to be searched. Yeah. I don't know if you get. Perfect. So basically what was in my bag was just spices and beverages. Nothing to search for. So I went there, they were about to scream my bag and the man asked me, he said, okay, so where are you going to? I told him, okay, I'm not also. The, no, actually, I told him U, the USA. No need to explain to them in Nigeria that much. So I told him USA. I said, okay. And he said, okay, what are you going for? I said, I'm a student. I'm going for school. He looked at me up and down. You know when they want to beg you, but they're just like, ah, no, student, no. Maybe this one is the beg. Yeah. So he just let me go. go yeah. And I went, yeah. So when you go, there's a place where you're supposed to show your COVID results, your negative COVID results. Guys, it's not compulsory you print it out because I actually looked funny at the airport, you know, bringing out all my documents as hard copy. It can be on your phone. The, revo- the result can be on your phone. It's just that the place you are using has to be certified, right? Also, again, if you don't have immunization records, like you can't find the one from your childhood my dear please just go to the u.s don't kill yourself because i noticed i used one week running around for immunization i oh thought i god. needed which wasn't necessary oh my god wasted money. in fact as in like we actually it's not wasted money because it's free now the vaccinations are free and the one the woman that did mine was just telling me oh you know you are going abroad and i'm going to rush to do it so you have to so i supported her like i was like auntie please i have just one week to travel i have to like be pay come on they they use that you are traveling now to charge yes. money from me you know yeah but and they did not even ask free. me about it at the airport like it wasn't really necessary they did not ask me anything throughout till i got to school now in your school you can book for you know there's this thing they call a tighter test it helps to test to see your immunity so if you've taken all those vaccines before it will show or you can just retake what is required by law exactly. in your state 
Yeah. So please don't run around for immunization. So I showed my COVID, whatever. Then I went into the line. You know, they have to weigh your bag. Mine was, um, you have to take two bags, one hand luggage. Each must be 23 kg, max 8 kg hand luggage. So obviously, you didn't balance out. Guys, before you go to the airport, please get a skill. Oh, Either this hanging skill. Please wait. It's not Nigerian flights. Please wait because they will not let you pass. Wait so that you don't have to start sorting yourself out in the airport. So I got there, unpacked, started reshuffling because one of my bags was heavier than the other. I did all that. Yeah, we got there. So the lady saw my name at the counter. She saw Lua Shin. So she was like, ah, my person now because she's Yoruba. Guys, I don't speak Yoruba. So she started speaking Yoruba, but I hear. So I was like, ah, yes, ma'am, really? Eh, yeah, eh, eh, yes, 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 yes. You understand? Just to make sure, because she started favoring me because my things were more than the weight. Yes, sir, yeah. So she just said, okay, remove this one, hold this one, they will let you pass. And do this, do this. She was doing all that in Yoruba, I understood. So at the end of the day, she said, go, go, go. I got in and um, it started getting real. You know, as you leave the shores of Nigeria or as you start passing counters, um, COVID starts getting real. At least it did to me. Yeah. You know, in Nigeria, we're more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Maybe you touch somewhere, you didn't sanitize, you know, but I was coming. (laughs) It started getting real. So I got to the US. I did not use any paper towel that was not my own, any tissue that was not my own. Like, we will get them. Huh? <laughs> so I got in. There's a place you will wait. I sat down. I sanitized my hand. I was waiting. You wait a little, maybe like 10 minutes, sanitize your hand again. You know, this useless fear and everything. So we were about to board to go to Doha, Qatar. Um, we boarded and um, I sat down, sanitized my hand, just packaged myself. There was one really beautiful lady beside me, you know, and she was Nigerian, and that was cool. So she helped me relax up, in this way. This is not, they don't shoot shots in COVID, do <laughs> It's like, it's like you've not noticed they don't shoot shots in COVID. <laughs> so, uh, you know, new, um, my first time now, actually my second time on an international flight, so it's been a long time. So I wasn't even used to the protocols or anything. So I just sat down like one village boy like that. I just did. Um, so yeah, the flight went on call. Uh, I refused to touch anything. So the lady was just helping out. The lady beside me, you know, I'm just like, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And she's just doing everything. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, so good, you know. So that flight went on. Mind you guys, um, our systems are different, but. Where I'm not comfortable, I can't use the toilet. Mm-mm, I can't. So throughout that flight, I I went to the toilet, oh maybe just to urinate, you know. Mm-hmm. But like I didn't touch anything. Anything I'm touching, tissue must be covering my hand. Tissue that is for me, not tissue that is that was there. You know, I was just making sure, keeping safe and all. We landed. I think your experience was quite different because you said you had time to shower. I think you said something like shower. Yeah, because we we I took um, Air France and so we had to land in Paris. And so I had like a waiting time of about two hours or thereabout. So I had the time to utilize because um, we had to wait at the airport. And so I had to like, we used the, so I was with someone and so we were able to use the one of the the services there so i was able to shower and things like that yeah. powerful powerful yeah like it was ah, the bathroom was even very clean ah, there yeah. was no break <laughs> there was no break for me like as i landed i thought i would have that time to you know to you know clean up and all that as you said yeah my sister till i reach the u.s of the obodo yibo hotels oh. oklahoma hello bye hello brush oh my god i'm telling you <laughs> See, <laughs> I was just thanking God. That, ah, thank God for this face mask thing. Oh, oh my this God. This face mask thing. This, this yeah, we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> my God. So, oh, God. No. I landed in Doha and, um, you know, 
um, everything just went a while because I wore an analog watch. My phone was, uh, you know, everything just went off. I didn't know what the time was. I just know it's like we were going from morning to morning to morning. My people were were in night. I was just going morning, morning, morning. You know, it was just weird. So, as I told you, no time to freshen up. As I just came down, all of us we just started walking for our next flight. I was like, "What?" So we walked all the way. There you have it. I'm already clearing my hand luggage again to enter next flight. We entered the next flight. I thought, okay, since now we finished the whole Qatar journey, um, now we're in the US because we landed in a Dallas Fort Airport. So since we landed there, I was like, okay, maybe now there will not be. No, I from Doha to the US, I was thinking there will be space, you know, to freshen up. My dear, we landed again. Fire brigade to next flight. So I entered again to Dallas. I had I have not even used wipe to clean my face. Wipe nothing, it. you know, just going from flight to flight. And I landed in Dallas Fort. Then that was the only time I waited. The flight to Tulsa. That was the only time I waited. And I got to Tulsa. I was chatting with them when I was in um, Dallas Fort because the school they were like they have places I can stay in hotel. This school is a very funny school. So when I was there at the airport, I was chatting them. One of them now responded. That one was not playing with me. That one said, "We don't really have TU recommended hotels. You just book any hotel and stay." I'm like, "What's wrong with this guy?" But because of the meticulous nature that God had given me, I had done my research before I left Nigeria. So if they were going to mess up, I had where to go. To. So I, what I did was I booked two days. I booked two days. You said you stayed a week. I booked two days yeah. in one of the hotels. So as I arrived, I'm on my own. Another thing, please, guys, for your boxes that you buy. Please buy the um, four ruler, the you know the boxes Pretty. that can spin. Yeah, it's a lot easier to handle. Please yeah. don't buy the two ruler tire. It's not good. Three sixty, yeah. Yeah, buy the three sixty is really convenient. So I was there. It was evening already. And did I, you? How was your? How did you go through like the point of entry when you you know? CBP. Yeah. yeah. Is that how they call it? Um, yeah, right. custom and border control yeah. yeah yeah so that's why i told you if you don't know how to cook don't if you don't cook things. yeah don't pick things that will be checked for because once i got to cbp all he asked me was he didn't even ask me where i'm going to it. he said what do you have in your box i said just spices no he said do you have, have edibles in your box I said just spices. I didn't even talk about beverages. That was all. That's the port of entry I entered. My right. bag, they didn't search anything. I was cleared. Yeah, so that was port of entry for me. I got to the hotel. And um, yeah, I lodged in the hotel. Then they sent me, CDC sent me their own this thing. The school sent me their own requirements for COVID quarantine. So it's supposed to be 10 days. If you don't take a test, if you decide to take a test on the fifth day, then you can be out of quarantine after the seventh day. So that's what I did. So what happened was I just, I didn't want to pay full. You know, this Nigerian mentality. So I didn't want to pay full for the hotel. I preferred paying, you know, as I, as I go. Please. So after, after the two days, I'll come and say, I want to extend my stay. I want to extend it like that, like that. So yeah it ended up being a week and three days in the hotel but then yeah i ended my quarantine on my birthday my birthday oh, was wow. the last day then the 11th i was out of quarantine but i was still at the hotel and just another tip i, I got this idea from god door in the hotel you don't need to use room service like the cleaning think of it the lesser people have to enter your room, the safer you are, right? Yeah. It's not like 
the place will turn into a dustbin. You just stay there. So you can do that. Just I avoided going out as much as possible. Sanitized my hands as much as possible. Whenever I come in, I always sanitize my hands. I really was trying to be careful as much as possible. So that was that. And um, after the one week, three days, I got on campus, and I'm in a dorm on campus. And uh, well, I did that intentionally because this particular city is not as calm as you might expect it to be. You know, it's not the bustling city like Bo- like all these Boston, Massachusetts, and stuff like that. But um, there are a lot of happenings. I hear of all these homicides. I'm reading it every time, so they are not really calm like that. So I didn't want to be moving about in the night so i went straight to the hotel and straight to the dorm where i'm used to now currently i'm talking with a friend and i plan to move out for summer and all my other semesters yeah that's my plan and i don't think i'm leaving anything out is there any other thing i don't think you've left anything out to be honest you were very very detailed and i I thought i wouldn't be (laughs) yeah you were i think this is going to be the longest video i have had i'm so sorry i know no no no, it's good i know we didn't start exactly at one but we've 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 had this for over an hour 30 minutes so been on for like an hour 30 minutes and it's fine but i think the last thing would be like you know how has it been taking classes adjusting um you know um, assignments the whole thing because i know that when we are coming here people think it's a lot easy you go past you'll be very you know all of those things are dear misconceptions about studying in the united states of america because at least you've been here for over a month you know so you have you can say something and you're fresh so right now it's not really me because i've graduated you know but you are fresh now what do you think what are those misconceptions about studying yeah yeah so misconception um it's not easy it's not as easy as you think it is yes we study a lot in nigeria but time is money (laughs) and literally time is your grades here so um be on top of your game it's not like nigeria when a class is missed and you're applying you miss a class here you almost die don't miss any class be on top of your game as much as possible um i think that's the major misconception about studying in the u.s and about topping you know nigerians always topping the class when they get there the reason why that happens is uh, two reasons one we are very tough and striving people we strive wherever we are secondly the mooring it costs a lot of mooring to bring in those plays think about it so you know think about it (laughs) when you're in class you will be able to you know there's a calculator in your head Mm -hmm. always changing the amount in naira so you know how much it costs so don't be shy and um yeah those are the misconceptions about studying in the u.s no one does anything for you Mm -mm. you're going to do everything yourself and you have to be able to speak up ask the most questions till you understand your questions are never stupid some of them literally are but in this system they are not you paid for it speak up ask Uh 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 yeah (laughs) like that it was really nice speaking to you, Luasho. Like I keep saying, whenever we talk, oh my God, even on what, like when we're chatting to the same thing, I don't know how you do it. You do it offline, you do it online, you do it anyhow. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. You want to consider comedy? Comedy? No, I'm not funny, no. Oh. Usually I'm not fast about that. Nah. Uh, no, fast? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I could try that. Everything. I could try that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you so very yeah. much um i know this is like the first interview we've had but i do believe that in the future we're going to have more maybe after the semester is over or during maybe like spring break you know we can talk about things and how you know that 
period has been so we just i just want to what i'm trying to say is that we we'll keep having you here because we want to hear more from you want to know how you're doing want to hear all those fresh ideas and i mean this is what i tell everybody you are also one of our ambassadors our mentors because there are people who might want to ask you more questions people who want to reach out to you people who are still like confused you know as they come and as i see them and as they want more knowledge i'll definitely shoot them your way if i feel that you are the best person to mentor or guide them as well so how can people get to know you like where can they find you where are you are you on social media you know or you are not the social media type or if somebody wants to yeah, contact you as well I, I, i'm not the social media type but right now me or how you can contact me through valen you can also get me on whatsapp like right now i'm active like that's going to stay till you know till my program is over i'm going to keep that with my nigerian number you can contact me there if the person does not have your nigerian number how would the person hey and last last just check up through valen okay valen we give him my details boy So thank you very much for your share yeah. and I'll see you guys actually in person and then mm-hmm. I would have you on this channel again you know eh hey. oh yeah oh yeah so mm-hmm. it's officially ended and I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe and join our telegram group so you can meet the community of other aspiring and current we are great people in that community and join. make friends every day mm-hmm.